This is all about excursions in the Dominican Republic. If you're on a cruise ship coming to Puerto Plata, you're gonna end up at this new cruise port, Taino Bay. So we walked off the ship and we walked out to this central area to meet our shore excursion. We filled out some paperwork, the liability waivers, and then we were brought to this bus. It took about an hour to an hour and a half to get to the site where we got on the ATVs and also did the waterfall. It was all one spot. So the bus just dropped us off and then we started with the ATVs. When you first get off the bus, you're assigned a locker and that's where you put all your belongings. They didn't really want you to keep much on you, not even sunglasses, which I think my sunglasses could have fit underneath the helmet, but some of the helmets had a screen where your sunglasses may not have really fit, so they didn't want you to bring that. So if you're coming on this and you want to bring your phone, maybe bring it in one of those plastic waterproof protector cases and put it in a pocket with a zipper or around your neck with a lanyard. Because of how bumpy the ride is, anything that you have in an unzipped pocket might come out. Like I brought chapstick with me in a pocket and I did not have it by the time we got to our halfway point. So it had fallen out of the pocket. So this is what the view looks like. You have this dirt trail and you do have some water crossing. So those are super fun. And you're just following this whole line of ATVs. And then there is a person who is taking video and photos with the company that they will give you those photos and videos afterwards. If you're with Virgin Voyages, it's included in your shore excursion package. If you're doing this with another cruise line, you may have to purchase the photos separately. So on this part of the trail, you can see we go onto a regular road. So you may be passing some cars through this little village. And then we go up to the halfway point where we do have a few minutes to get off of the ATVs check out the area, buy a souvenir or a hat or a shirt, uh, buy something to eat if you want, and then you get to switch drivers. So don't feel like if you didn't start off driving that you're not gonna get a chance because you will switch at the halfway point. So now this was my time to drive and I wanted to go much faster, especially through those water crossings and try and splash some water up as we went through just for fun. So yes, I was successful that time. And here we go again with part two. Oh, there's the water. So there I am saying hi, and you see all the mud and water droplets on my helmet. So that was a success. Then we have the second water crossing. Then we continued on to the third water crossing. And not as much of a splash as the first one, but that's okay. And after this, we returned the ATVs, we went to our lockers, we got our water shoes, and then we had to step up the stairs and across this bridge to start our hike to the waterfalls. The hike itself was about 45 minutes just to get to the start of the waterfalls. So this was the path, it's a little bit rocky and there were some stairs and you went up and then you had to come back down to the start of the waterfalls. So the group met here. We all had life jackets and helmets, and you'll see why the helmets were definitely necessary. And then we just start one by one going down the waterfalls, and it was a series of jumps, navigating slides, and swimming through the waterfalls and these canyons. So the Virgin Voyages Excursion website was a little bit confusing because in one section it said, water shoes were provided and another section said, bring your own water shoes, at least on the Virgin Voyages ship excursion, the water shoes were provided. So you don't need to bring your own, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about having soaking wet shoes to pack. So this was the line for this big jump. Everybody kind of waits on this platform. And this is the tallest jump of the whole waterfall. So it's in the very beginning. It is scary, but it is fun. That's me, just got the nerve to jump and you can have people cheering for you if you're a little bit nervous. Here's the next jumping platform and we're waiting in line again for our turn to jump. So you have to jump out a little bit so you're not hitting into these rocks. And there I go into the water. And then we continued on and we kind of had to swim through this part a little bit to get to the next section, so. Have fun with it. How often do you get to do this type of thing? Not very often, I'm saying. So definitely for adventurous at heart. We did have all ages 
Um, Virgin Voyages has no kids on board. So there was probably no one under about the age of 25 on this tour. And it went up to uh, people in their 60s and 70s on the tour who were able to do it. So you just have to be able to walk, swim, jump, hike. If you can do all that, then this could be a good option for you. In this spot, you have the option of taking the slide or jumping off of the platform. So we did a mix. The only thing about the slide is it kind of can hurt your hips a little bit, the way it's set up. And here was the last jump of the day. We did this, hiked back to the start and had a buffet lunch. This is Katie, your adventure travel advisor and long-term travel coach. If you're looking for some help with your next trip, set up a call with us and let's talk.